Ben Richardson, cinematographer of Mayor of Easttown on HBO. A detective in a small Pennsylvania town investigates a local murder while trying to keep her family or her life from falling apart. Uh, ben, I think audiences have really responded to the show thus far, specifically the authenticity of the region and, you know, like everything from Kate's performance and her accent to the, the supporting characters and stuff. I guess for you as cinematographer, can you talk about your approach visually to capturing the authenticity of the region? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, the thing that was sort of both uh, exciting to me and a little nerve wracking, um, you know, coming off recent work I've done, um, I, I, as you know, I shot Yellowstone and then I just come off of Taylor Sheridan's sort of giant forest fire movie that's about to come out. Um, I was a little bit nervous about this kind of small town because, you know, it's such a grand story in the lives of these people. And I was worried about scope. I was worried about scale. Um, and about how to sort of bring that to the screen. Um, there were so many scenes that took place in these domestic environments and, and sort of a lot of simple sort of dialogue scenes in smaller spaces. And what I found uh, very quickly was that actually we could bring all the scope we needed without cheating in any way. We were shooting in the real locations and we could make it all about the nuance and the detail and the scope of these homes, these environments, you know, these little spaces in which these grand events were taking place. Um, and I'm incredibly uh, fortunate to have had a, a great collaborator in, in um, uh, Keith, our production designer, who found these wonderful real locations, dressed them beautifully, uh, and then transferred that same level of kind of detail and specificity over to the stage sets that we did a lot of work on. And in the end, it was really um, a delight to be able to find all of that complexity and richness within these, these very detailed real world feeling uh, spaces. You mentioned like uh, Keith, the production design. I, 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 can you talk about the collaboration, like you said, like between him and also Craig, the director, uh, Craig Zobel, director of like how you guys, you know, once you got in those spaces and in those real world, world environments, like, I guess like, you know, those conversations and stuff like to really bring out the specificity of those locations. Yeah, well, one of the one of the interesting challenges was as we headed into the production, it became very clear that, you know, the, as audiences know, there are a lot of characters and a lot of places that we have to cover. Um, and that combined with what ultimately became a, a, a shot, um, a shoot split between um, two blocks before and after COVID. Um, we had to block shoot everything, you know, everything was block shot. So we, we because of actor availability, in some cases, uh, location availability, even stage space, you know, on our stages to physically have sets up. Um, so one of the things that was fascinating was we found ourselves shooting out entire character arcs and entire locations in the first few weeks of production and then never coming back to those things. And so we, what I think we were sort of doing initially was trying to find a really kind of um, almost a defensive way of working in those first few blocks to give us room to expand in the future. Um, and it's just a testament to the the, the absolute like um, remarkable talent that is Kate Winslet that there is there is a complete continuity and a, and a, an absolute sort of um, precision to the arc um, that that makes that stuff completely invisible. But um, it was quite a fun thing to sort of you know we would kind of just spitball ideas in those first few um, weeks and as that went forward and then as we went forward and we found that we'd sort of started to, to develop a language very specific to the show we could riff on earlier ideas so it was a really evolving process you know we were constantly in that the mode of, of um, creativity that you normally have in prep we were kind of constantly in that mode as we were finding new threads and new details to to um to pick on as we as we went forward. Well, Ben, I was, I was, one of the things I wanted to talk about, not to spoil it, but in an upcoming episode, there's a great uh, sequence at the end of an episode that I think will shock a lot of the fans of the show. But one of the things I really was, I loved about the sequence, and I'll try to be as vague as possible, is how uh, it, you know, a big kind of confrontation between the characters, but you never lose sight of where anybody is. And I guess, can you talk a little about like, you know, being able, like, like setting that kind of shot up and that sequence up and like making sure you know, as a viewer, you know the geography of every character. Yeah, that was a real challenge. Um, and that is that that sequence, as you say, is shot across a number of uh, spaces, real world spaces and um, uh, stage builds um, to tie all those things together. And uh, I, I, man, it's, it's a tough one to describe. I mean, in terms of the geography, that's that's I would say in some ways that's one of my favorite parts of the job is um, 
you know, um, I've worked with people who say, like, I love the lie. And it's absolutely true. I do love the lie. I love the fact that, you know, cinematography gives you the ability to have a character look a certain direction. And whatever you show the audience next is what that character saw. And you, you build that continuity of a world. And then you have some technical requirements, you know, like marrying, you know, correct lighting and those sorts of things, which were, in that case, were a particular challenge. Um, but yeah, I really, I enjoy that sort of, I enjoy being able to pick out an understanding of how an audience are going to find their way through a scene and show them the pieces either that they do need or, or withhold pieces, you know, the, the, the moment that they're desperate for um, and, and sort of play with that geography. And particularly, I, I know the scene you're talking about and um, yeah, there were a lot of opportunities there. I mean, so many elements being pieced together very, very quickly. Um, yeah, that was a lot of fun to shoot. Yeah, again, I think, I don't want to spoil it, but I think when people see it, they'll know what we're talking about and uh, it's an upcoming episode and it's just, it's really great. And it's a great sequence. I guess the other, like, there's a detective show. I think like HBO has a great history of doing these, certainly from like a true detective, to something like The Undoing. And it's a, it's a very, you know, it's a very popular genre, I guess, for you as a cinematographer from a visual standpoint, you know, when you're going into a show like this, like, do you look at, like, what kind of research do you do, I guess? Do you look at other detective the, the genre itself and like how it's played and maybe on in TV and also in film, like what is your process like? Yeah. I mean, I would say I'm a big fan of, of the genre. I think there's a reason that genre sticks around. Um, you know, they're, they're great stories. They're great things to get into. And, and the best of them ultimately turn out to not really be about the mystery at all. They turn out to be about the characters and the complexities around the mystery. And, um, you know, quite honestly, um, this, the, the writing on this was so great. Brad's writing was, you know, phenomenal. Um, Craig's take on it was, was terrific. Um, he brought sort of occasional moments of, of ease to, to what could have been an incredibly heavy and, and grim script. But really the anchor for me was honestly Kate. Um, Kate Winslet's commitment to that role was just beyond anything I've ever seen. And, you know, people are obviously rightly pointing out, you know, the accent and a few of those nuances, but her dedication and her sort of uh, detail-oriented approach to that role, and then it manifests in what is just a completely effortless performance. That really gave me, I, I've always been drawn to kind of naturalistic, um, you know, approaches of, to storytelling, but what she was giving us just gave us all the reason to kind of really dive down that path deep and make sure that there was never a frame in the show that felt contrived, felt considered, felt artificial, you know, no matter how heightened things might be. And, you know, we really did, you know, one of the things I love was that the show was just full of such beautiful faces in so many different ways. So, you know, you obviously want to sculpt and shape all of those things in addition to the environment, but never letting, uh, losing sight of the fact that to an audience, this is a real world. And I just wanted to give them a window into a world that felt 100% authentic. Um, yeah, and I, and I feel like we kind of accomplished a lot of that. Yeah, and it, uh, you meant, I mean, just speaking of Kate's performance, I feel like I, it's Kate Winslet, so like people don't need us to say how great of an actress she is, but I think even in this, she's like, I, the response has surprised people, I think, or like, or their performance has surprised people, and based on the response, like, they're very excited by the performance. And I guess when you're a sim, like, is that something you just spot like minute one, like when you're like a day one of like production, that this is something like that is noteworthy, even for her, you know, like, and based on her body of work? Yes. <laughs> I, I would say so. I would say so. I mean, yeah. it, you know, it, one of the earliest scenes we, we we shot was, you know, not one of the most complicated ones. It gave her a lot of room to kind of play with the character, but she still never, she never broke out of this, this, this just, again, the layers to that person that she's created, you know, the layers to the character of Mare. Um, and, and as a, as a cinematographer, it just gives you so much um, room to, to play because you're not, you're, you're never really having to, um assist a, a performance or or enhance a performance you really are just free to to shape and sculpt what the audience gets to see of that you know and and she's also incredibly aware of the camera so um you know that kind of uh that that interplay is terrific as well ben richardson thank you so much mayor of east town on hbo stick around for the group panel after this thank you Ben. thank you <laughs>